Real talk. I try not to discriminate against any group. Real talk. It's not fair to perpetuate certain stereotypes, but there's a group of people who need to be called out. Babies! Real talk! Babies are the laziest mooches. Real talk! All they do is take, take, take. They take food from the teat. They never replace it. Real talk! You talk to a teat. They suck them dry and there's nothing left. Real talk! They're like that couch surfer who won't go away, who somehow become your roommate. Real talk! Who eats all the food in your refrigerator, even when you label it Joseph, not yours. Real talk! Just for the record, I've never had a roommate named Joseph. Real talk! But I've had a roommate named Joseph. Real talk! Ugh, what am I even doing? I should be talking about my weekend. Oh my god, you guys, this weekend I was in Atlanta, Georgia at this little convention called MomoCon. MomoCon, 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 Momo. Dude, if you guys came out, thank you so much. It was so awesome to see you. If you didn't make it out, thanks for following along online. I hope you saw some of my Instagram stories or the live streams. I was trying to shoot stuff so you know you wouldn't feel left out. And if you didn't follow along and you didn't attend, then like, what's your damage, man? I'm just just kidding. If you really wanted to go but you couldn't and you couldn't follow along for whatever reason, then I'm super sorry. And I think I have a solution to this problem. I will send you not one, not two, but three amazing Steven Universe art prints. It's fan art done by Yamino that I collabed on. I will sign those prints. I will write you a message. I will send it to you in the snail mail. It'll be like you didn't even miss Momocon. All you have to do is write a really funny joke. So the joke that makes me laugh the hardest will receive these three art prints. You have until the time that this video is posted until 24 hours later. Your joke will only be eligible if, if the comment was posted within that time frame, okay? So make sure you don't miss it and spread the word. Maybe you have other friends who miss Momocon and maybe you have other friends who want really cool prints from Mimino and maybe you have other friends who want like messages from me because they're bound to be weird. Before we go, there was one more thing in my brain this week, and that is artisanal mac and cheeses. What's the deal, man? Why are we putting in like chutneys and porchetta and gold flakes and essence of thyme and like the blood of young virgins? I don't understand why there's so many added elements and why the cheese has to be like organic and like come from some faraway place in France. Like why? It's mac and cheese, dude. Let's call a spade a spade. Artisanal mac and cheeses are Alfredo wannabes. Artisanal mac and cheese and Alfredo. It's like they're interchangeable. They're like fraternal twins that almost look identical. Okay, maybe one of them has glasses and the other one has like a birthmark right here, but it, they're pretty much the same person. Come on. Me, I'm a purist. I like that blue box special. I like my mac and cheese that was designed and prepared by a big chef. Um, You may know his name, Chef Kraft. K-R-A-F-T, yeah, okay. So it comes in this beautiful blue box and then there's like, you have this little packet that you can like shake and it's sort of like a very fine-tuned maraca and you try to rip it open, but it doesn't always rip because it feels like paper, but there's really like a plastic lining and finally you have to use a shear, like a weird part, kind of a knife or whatever. And then you pour it out and it's like gold dust. It's like, it's like this orange powder, it's radioactive. It, you know it's just gonna, you're gonna feel the heat and the warmth. And I like to put that in with no milk, no milk, just a little bit of water. And then sometimes I like to go BAM and throw in one slice of American cheese. The waxier the better. Also a craft product, preferably. And then I like to stir it until it gets nice and slimy and you can hear that like that gross like sound as you're stirring the cheese. And if I'm feeling super sassy, yeah, sometimes if I have it by me, I will take a little bit of cream cheese, just a tiny dollop, also put that in there, stir it so it gets extra. That's how it sounds, that's how it really sounds. But now it's probably gonna gross you out every time you do it anyway. 
and then I eat it, and it is delicious. And, um, okay, that is all now. Goodbye. Please subscribe, even if you didn't like today's video. Please subscribe. You can also check out some of my other videos if you want. That would be in this region, like a cold front or a hot front coming in. I don't even know. Anyway, I'm going to point to a bunch of stuff right now, but I really hope